These mental states are called upayas, means and that is why the title of this session is means of attaining well-being. These upayas or these upayas are uh, five, shraddha, virya, smriti, samadhi, pragya. Shraddha, virya, smriti, samadhi, pragya, purvak, itiresham. Shraddha is belief in with the reverence in tap, dan, yagya. Tap means rigor. Whatever we pursue in life, whatever we want to attain in life, that requires rigor. Art gets reformed with rigor, science gets reformed with rigor, our psychomotor other abilities reflected in the sports. They, these things also get reformed with rigor. So, tap is the first aspect. Tapo mulam hi sadhanam. Sadhanam means means, tap is rigor. Whatever we wish to achieve, rigorous effort is needed. Dan, our willingness and our act of sharing the wealth and helping others that is dan and yagya. Yagya is working for the world, working for the world maintenance, working for maintaining the universal order. We need to have reverence in tap, dan and yagya that is called shraddha. Uh, in the Vyasa Bhash, it is called chetasaha samprasadaha. Samprasadha Chetasa means consciousness, samprasada, the serenity of mind. So, Shraddha is a kind of serenity of mind, where reverend which flows towards welfare is flown naturally. When there is less effort, less struggle, that less struggle happens when we generate the mental state of reverence towards tap, dan and yagya. That is why uh, uh, in very popular ishlok it is said that jagatah pitarau vande parvati parameshwarau. Parvati and parmeshwar are considered as the parent of the world. Jagatah pitarau vande parvati parameshwarau bhavani shankarau vande the same the bhavani uh, and uh, who is the consort of uh, Shiva or Shankar, one Shraddha Vishwasha Rupinau. Shiva is considered as symbol of Vishwas, faith and Bhavani or Parvati is considered a symbol of Shraddha. So, that is why uh, Bhavani Shankarau Vande Shraddha Vishwasha Rupinau. Shraddha is like a motherly characteristic of all other uh, mental tendencies. When we have Shraddha for the Tap, Dan and Yagya, it become a nurturant to all what we wish to achieve through the mental power. All other mental tendencies are taken care of when we have Shraddha. Like Avidya is the field of Klisht vrittis or suffering in the same way Shraddha is the field or the ground for the positive vrittis or ways of developing or inculcating those mental modifications or mind stuff which result into welfare, which results into well-being. You can study more about Shraddha in a very interesting work uh, carry out by uh, Professor Dharam P. Bhavuk and uh, in the dharmaviki.org website, there is a separate page on Shraddha. Uh, we know that dharmaviki website contains lot of these concepts in much more detail. So, you can uh, refer this website as your notes uh, 
in this field. So, uh, Shraddha is the basis of or the field of the positive mind stuff, positive modifications of the mind. When we have Shraddha, our efforts have energy. We need to actually make energetic efforts and that is why for some people yoga impact very quickly, but for some people it requires, it requires long time to show up the effort. Virya meaning energetic effort that means we are following Abhyas and Vairag with more intensity with more commitment. When the energetic efforts are made the impact of yoga whatever aspect of yoga we choose yam, niyam, asan, pratyaha, dharana, dhyan, samadhi whatever efforts we are making whatever the uh, yogaang we are practicing with the virya with the energetic effort its impact on our life its impact on our well being grows multifold and virya leads to mindfulness when we have virya means when we make conscious mental effort with optimum intensity we remain aware of what is needs to be done what thoughts we can inculcate what kind of thoughts we need to nurture we actually become custodian of our own mind states we become conscious of which thoughts have to be entertained in the mind which thought should not be nurtured or entertained in the mind that is smriti in the modern times it is very close to what in the uh, modern literature is studied as mindfulness. So, mindfulness or samyak dhyan and samyak gyan that is the Buddhist tradition teaches us the translation of that is mindfulness currently popular in the uh, western literature. Mindfulness is remaining aware of being in a non-judgmental state being in the observation state and being in the observation is not observation of the act, but observation about our mental fluctuations, mind the modifications of the mind stuff that is smriti. When we have sufficient intensity of smriti, it results into samadhi, concentration that is asampragyat samadhi. Uh, as discussed in the yoga sutra and we will discuss that, but for the normal uh, vyavaharic understanding samadhi means equanimity of mind, sam dhi, sam means equanimous, dhi meaning intellect or buddhi that equanimity in mind is achieved with the mindfulness or smriti. When we have equality of equanimity in mind, we are able to see things as they are. We are not distorted by our judgments, our prejudices or our rag and dvesh. When our mind and our intellect is not prejudiced by rag or dvesh, which is not judgmental, which is available to observe things and situations and people as they are, then pragya or wisdom originates. So, what are the upayas? Upayas are Shraddha, Virya, Ismati, Samadhi and Pragya. If you see all these five things are actually progressively developmental. This is a psychological, it is a progressive psychological development framework, where one thing, one quality leads to the next, then next and as we move from one quality to the next things become clearer to our mind and as things become clearer to our mind, we become yogastha and we also become swastha. So, what is the meaning of swastha? Swastha is being established in self, swa means self, sthit means established. We become established in self, we attain swastha, swastha is nothing but wellness or well-being and that requires uh, an effort that requires Shraddha, Veer, Ismriti, Samadhi, 
pragya and that is reflected in our mental state that also is reflected in our vyavahar in our behavior and also in our situation of our body we attain well being at the psychosomatic level through these upaya